So Lily, oh good evening to you. Lily is trying out the snake tree for the first time. She hasn't, well she's been out the past couple of nights, but hasn't sort of ventured past going up onto her enclosure and up to her usual place where she likes to hang out. I can't let go of this because it's going to topple. Uh, yeah, so I just keep my foot on it until I see where she's going to go. Up on a place where she normally does like to go, which is of course this bird hanging out area. So it's lovely to see Lily all spread out, though she does get to do it more often than my other snakes, because of course she is in um, a six foot enclosure and why she has to go that way I'll never know but often goes that way it seems to be they they make a path that you know it's amazing that even though they don't use it all of the time they have used it and they they tend to stick to it very rarely have I seen Lily, for example, go in a different path or onto a different path than what she would normally take. Because I've said often before, they are very much creatures of habit, but they're creatures of what they're comfortable with. And even though I've made my home safe for them to enjoy and to have many places to go and explore they still tend to like that familiar now I also say to you to mix things up in their enclosure and and give them a change that is a little bit different because they're in a much smaller area. But not only that, it's an area that they're extremely familiar with, which is in their enclosures, which is safe. And they know that their enclosures are safe. Out here, well, yeah. We know it's safe for them, but they don't spend enough time out here living, do they? Although I question that a little bit with my Lily, because she does spend a lot of time out here living, but like I said, sticks to those same places that she knows. What she doesn't realise right now, of course, is I've I were to let this tree go at this particular point, uh, it would go towards Jessie's enclosure and yeah, and I'm looking to see where Jesse is and I think he's up on his higher hammock. Hmm. Sometimes on the lower and sometimes on the upper. But I wish Lily would move fractionally. They don't know how to wait themselves. And sometimes they're not understanding that things aren't strong enough or things may topple over like this is going to. So it's not very safe, but she's still giving it a go. So I really wanted to, to put Lily on it and show her and she was headed over the back of my couch and coming over and I knew she was going to go up on my computer and up so I figured okay I'll let her get so far out and then I will pick her up and I will put her over here and give her an opportunity to explore
explore here. Even though she has explored that bird area many, many, many times, she has definitely not explored this yet and seems to be quite content to just chill here at the moment and yeah but I haven't got much to weight it down I do have some bricks over the other side there that I will use but it means letting go of this so I would like her to get some of her weight up onto that bird area before I remove myself so it's like waiting here for Lily to decide what it is that she would really like to do you know I'd like to go back so you can see the the full length of Lily she's she's quite long actually but quite a slim snake and of course slim because you know she's not a massive eater lily um, eating mice uh, which are fine for them you know they don't have to eat rats I wish lily would occasionally but it's um, certainly something she doesn't like so um, and she will not eat chicks and I have tried that with her to give her some variety and there are many snakes that you can actually do that with and I really would like you to I wouldn't suggest offering your jungle carpet pythons mice definitely avoid the mice trip with them and keep them on rats if they are on rats but certainly offer them chicks um, in between uh, I don't see them going off rats to take on chicks as their sole food source but mice they absolutely will but you know my coastal um, will be eating chicks my Darwin will eat chicks Tessa will eat chicks Jessie will eat chicks uh, so you know Ishi and Maya eat chicks they eat mice they eat rats they will eat anything of course I haven't fed any of my other big snakes mice such as a mayor who's got a dark enclosure right now over there which she'll be absolutely loving of course with her eyes but I could I don't foresee an issue with my Darwin taking mice and then refusing them uh, she, he just because she's he see I'm saying she again has a female name a maya is not a boy uh, a girl oh my goodness I should start again I think because that's just blooper after blooper but um, you well you've seen the bloopers I don't need to run a blooper video do I a maya is a boy though he has a female name okay I got that out at least I won't talk about him anymore uh, a pani is a bit little for the chicks so you know, mice he'd eat she'd eat oh I, I shouldn't have picked up the camera guys honestly um, it's seven o'clock it's not really that late I've had a couple of late nights but that's still no excuse it's like well then don't pick up the camera if you're tired but if I didn't do it at this time of the night, I don't think I'd find the time during the day. And please excuse me for not being able to catch many of your videos um, of late. Life is just stressful at the moment and my brain just does not click into watching I can watch but I'm not listening I'm far far away but I will catch up but I appreciate all of you that continue to watch my videos and support me even if I haven't been able to get to your videos so I'm not going to make this long at all because it was just about Lily coming out offering your snakes variety to eat it's good for them and Lily well who knows where she's going to end up 
I'm going to have to move this thing so it's a bit more secure and won't tip over. So you take care. I'll talk to you again soon. Ciao.